friends hope you're doing well i am dr melin so i welcome you all in another episode of know the branch from the specialist so today we are going to talk about obstetrics and gynecology so today we have with us dr sangmita who is a senior resident in lady harding medical college hi dr sangmita welcome to this talk session please introduce yourself hey, hi melin um, thank you for having me on your uh, platform i am dr sangmita i have done my obstetrics and gynecology md from uh, aims gopal and currently i am working as senior resident in uh, lady harding medical college hi everyone okay uh, so thanks for joining us so let's try to know about the branch from dr sangmita so tell us uh, how did you arrive to the conclusion you know this decision to take obstetrics and gynecology as a career because after the results of nict and neat pg lot of students are looking off gyne as a career choice from the time i wanted to become a doctor i wanted to be a gynecologist uh i have seen gynecologists in my family my mother is gynecologist and i was moved with the uh, part that a gynecologist plays in uh, caring for a woman's health so and also internship was the crucial part where i decided to uh, take up uh, gyne as a branch because I, uh, we get exposure under all the branches in internship and uh, obstetrics and gynecology was where i enjoyed the most Yes, and I think it's it's a one of the major postings. So you get to know the about the branch, and I have seen a lot of students, you know, who have a family background in a similar branch. Usually, they prefer a similar branch. So it's always, you know, like you are already exposed to this uh, branch uh, since your I mean childhood. So let's uh, move uh, further. Tell us about you know Obsgain is considered as a hectic branch. I mean, it is said that it's a hectic branch. So let's try to take your opinion. So how does obstetrics and gynecology department works? Like how? a student who has enrolled for obstetrics and gynecology progress from first year to third year see it is hectic branch because it demands a lot uh, it demands your time your patience because there is lot of patients load uh, especially in the tertiary centers so it is a hectic branch because lot of emergencies are there in uh, the surgical field So when you come to the first year, first year is a very vigorous training period. Obviously, in the first six months, you have lot of uh, uh, paperwork, night duties, and uh, but still you get uh, exposure in the labor room with the patient. And OPD mm-hmm. is very good where you get to converse with the patients and you learn history taking. And uh, you basically uh, have a hectic uh, duties. but still you enjoy the patient doctor relationship that you get in first year so you have a um, lot of uh, uh, emergencies which you attend and in first year you get to assist in surgeries mainly uh, cesareans sometimes in the first year uh, later six month you get to perform surgeries also so when you come to second year uh, first year is mainly orientation to the branch and in the second year you get a grip on the subject so with the thesis so you get to perform cesareans and uh, you uh, get lot of exposure with the labor room uh, protocols and also in the opds uh, in the first year you will not have any idea regarding the uh, diagnosis of the patient or that but in second year uh, you will be able to uh, go through, uh, go to the patient's diagnosis and also the treatment so in third year you will obviously become a, a more trained person so by the time you come to third year you start enjoying the branch so it is though it is a hectic branch so it is hectic branch i have to agree on that uh, but it is hectic in these three years of period once you pass out after pg once you have grip on the subject so it becomes much easier yeah and it's, it's way more you know like as as you said you know it's more interesting and it's you you it's like a fun for you now you know you start operating you start dealing with the cases yes. so you start enjoying that uh, hectic period of the branch so what are the like you know a lot of students when they enroll like you have done your post graduation from a central institute and now uh, like what was your difference between like you are uh, doing a sachip in lady harding so what was the difference Uh, any difference that you want to say about you know like is there any advantage of doing uh, you know md from uh, institute like aims uh, yes uh, see uh, in aims uh, see one is the uh, research institute and the patient flow so in uh, state colleges there is lot of patient flow the number of beds and the bed occupancy is more mm-hmm. so the uh, type of exposure you get 
in a state college and the type of exposure you get in a central institution is different mm. you get a referred cases uh, high and high risk uh, obstetric cases more in central institutions uh, but the regarding the number of cases and the flow of patient also gives you some kind of experience which is different than what you get in a central institution or a low bed occupancy uh, institutions okay. so uh, it is different in both but both have its own advantages you yeah. get to see a lot of cases and you get to see a lot of different type of and high risk cases so central institution is also good and state also, also has its Yes, uh, what I have also seen about Afghani and like in also in other that it's easy to get a grant for your thesis or your research work in Central Institute. The chances of getting a grant are more if you're from Central Institute. That's what uh, I feel. Okay, having said that, what's uh, like how's uh, life after residency? Like you know, what are the other job options and you know career options for a uh, obstetrics and gynecology resident? once you are uh, done with your uh, ms obgy there are a lot of career options for you you have a senior residency that you can do for 3 years and you can go into private practice where you can uh, have your own setup uh, you can have a um, private setup where you can uh, work as a consultant also in uh, your own clinic or in a nursing home and also if you uh, the senior residency is also kind of a training period so when you have uh, same uh, like you get to improve yourself with the surgical skills and also the leadership qualities and also into the academics in the uh, in private also and also in government setup in chcs phcs so there is a deficiency of obstetrics uh, obstetricians in the peripheries so there is 70% deficiency so there won't be any shortage of uh, job opportunities for you and uh, if you want to work in a uh, metropolitan city or in a uh, central institution where you have to apply for the job there you you have uh, uh, there you have to uh, fight a lot for the seat otherwise you have a good opportunity and not just as a job uh, see after uh, gaini uh, you don't there is no demand like nowadays the demand for the super specialty is increasing there are a lot of fellowships mch which you can do after gyne also like uh, gynecological oncology reproductive medicine is there and in fellowships there are endo uh, endoscopies in gynecology and um, uro gynecology uh, there is separate ultrasound and obstetric courses fetal medicine course uh, and i have to say one more thing like the gynecological exposure uh, Uh, is uh, decreasing in PG life nowadays. So there is one more like the fellowship in uh, vaginal uh, surgeries is also coming up. Mm-hmm. So you have lot of uh, streams that you can take up after uh, MS OBGYN also. So there are a lot of opportunities yes. after. So this. that's a very. Uh, I mean, I think this is going to give a lot of you know information for the students who are listening it. Uh, my next question is about college selection like you know you have done your residency you have completed your one year of uh, res- uh, senior residency as well so what is your uh, experience you know you have worked with uh, colleagues from different part of india so what advice you would like to give for a student while choosing a particular college like you know uh, is there something that uh, a person should look for in a college like about the exposure or about uh, like central institute or a state college anything in that particular in this branch uh, yeah the institution and the patient uh, ratio everything plays a lot of role but if you like the subject and if you want to be uh, really want to be a obstetrician so uh, it doesn't matter the college you choose the how 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 you study the subject so uh, becomes very important yeah it's good if you get into a very good uh, central institution or a uh, a uh, state college state but college. even in a private college yeah whatever where whatever the college is if you like the subject and if you are uh, uh, ready to enjoy the emergencies you get or the hectic life you uh, want to uh, have after uh, your pg life also the night duties everything will be there so uh, see the college uh, doesn't matter but you have to enjoy the subject you have to enjoy the work that you do 
and i think in, uh, in in this particular branch you don't have to work about the exposure because it's considered as a recession proof branch like that you will always have a patients whatever the college is the obstetric patients flow will be will the be yes. the number of ca- the um, amount of cases you get will be good yes true uh, so tell us about this branch uh, yes uh, tell us more about the work life balance you know in residency definitely it's hectic so is there any respite after uh, residency like you have you know you have been doing your residency and you have seen lot of faculties you know and seniors senior gynecologists and obstetricians working in a field so like does it get better or is it like hectic for life obviously it is better than the uh, post graduation life hmm. post graduation life is like you are uh, 24/7 in the wards uh, you are always dealing with the patients looking at the, looking after the emergencies and the ward patients but after post graduation yeah you have relaxation time so like while i'm doing a residency so i have fixed duty hours so after i uh, finish my duty hours yeah i get to come back home and uh, i have my life mm-hmm. i enjoy my life yeah so but compared to the other departments other uh, surgical branches or other uh, um, emergency branches like uh, medicine or surgery or orthopedics uh, obstetric and gynecology has uh, more emergencies where you need to have immediate uh, your presence mm. so your presence will be needed immediately so even in consultancy life also i have seen my consultant coming uh, in the late night in case of uh, emergencies so this will be there for your lifetime when you have chosen this uh, branch but uh, but uh, right yeah i mean it's, it they don't take yeah. the burden but they take it as a challenge and as a learning opportunity yeah one more thing i want to say is you have a choice here so if you don't want to go into the emergencies you can uh, take up the fellowships and then uh, stream your uh, branch like uh, fetal medicine or uh, um, like uh, reproductive medicine where uh, the emergencies will be less and you are mainly dealing with the other medi- yeah, medical IBS part and, uh, yeah it is quite a demanding field as of now so someone can always have a choice uh, that's very right we say yes also there is a uh, you know lot of uh, discussion about you know uh, nowadays uh, because of you know all the factors uh, people are also considering dnb you know if they are not getting mdms so they are considering for for a uh, Uh, again lot of students will say you know uh, similarly like ophthalmology aims also gives md in norms gani right uh, like you know in other yeah. like lot of colleges have ms and md so that difference is also there uh, tell us about dnb you know like if someone wants to pursue dnb in norms gani because they are not getting md so is it a good choice like or uh, what like uh, you know what will be your opinion what is your opinion on that um, i have worked with uh, uh, my co residents who have uh, done dnb so when i have uh, worked with them it i don't feel any much difference okay the type of work they are doing uh, is also the same the exposure you get after your dnb is also same like uh, the md or ms so if you really like the branch go up with the dnb also you don't have to degrade the dnb but yeah obviously when you are in a academic uh, hierarchical system uh, it has its own uh, ms and uh, it has its own importance yeah. but dnb as a obstetrics and gynecology is good you have uh, same opportunities you can take up uh, specialization even after that just yes, that's i think very rightly put by dr sangeeta if you consider you know as a skill as exposure as a talent i, I think dnb and md are at par you know they are at equal level but when you look at you know you cannot change people's perspective you know what people think and say and as she said about you know academic hierarchy so there is something still there that people you know still consider okay i have to take md and that is the mindset that you know we cannot do much about that but there are a lot of good dnb hospitals in all the metro cities of india which offer excellent exposure and very good uh, uh, teaching and as dr sangmita said she had she has calling yes. who uh, are equally good and who are you know working at par with all md hospitals So my uh, next question is, you know, uh, what are the like? What do you like about the branch the most? You know, a lot of students sometimes, you know, they have this, you know, thing in mind. They are a little bit confused, you know, whether to take off again or not. What do you enjoy the most, and what do you like about the branch, and any challenges that in particular you faced that you know, like during your uh, period of residency? Yeah. So I enjoy the work that I do in gynae and obstetrics. it gives uh, job satisfaction so uh, though it, uh, i enjoy the emergencies that i get over there 
so once you have dealt with the emergencies and you have uh, settled the patient so you get that satisfaction yes i have done right to the patient so uh, gaini is a very charming branch i should say uh, yeah it uh, gives like it, it's a tragic uh, branch so yeah it's a good i know that you want to talk about any you know difficulties that you faced like particularly yes, yeah, yeah so when i'm working in a tertiary center where it is a referral center yeah you get a like an investigator or a other patient who has come with a uh, severe anemia with abruption mm. so those kind of cases are it is really challenging so when you manage such cases when you get to manage such cases yeah as a obstetrician i feel good yes you know as rightly said you know as in tertiary care uh, lady harding is also a tertiary care center so you know in both the cases you get mostly a referral cases mostly difficult cases so working in a tertiary care center is always you know that advantage sometimes you feel it's always challenging sometimes you need a breather but most of the time you get a difficult cases so but that's a fun i mean that's an interesting part of the job so I, lastly what uh, message you want to give to all the aspirants who want to pursue career in obstetrics and gynecology Okay. See, you you have to take this branch because you want to take it, not just because you, some of your family member is uh, asking you to take gynecology, or uh, you just want a surgical branch and you are not getting surgery. But you have to take it because you want to work as a obstetrician. And uh, yes, it is a demanding branch. It demands your uh, energy, it demands your patience, and your some uh, sometimes your personal life can be compromised. Uh, but uh, Yeah, see this ca- this is in your hands and you can uh, manage your uh, life after P- uh, after pg, after PG. according to w- the schedule that you need yes, so, it's more of a choice yeah rightly said it's more of a choice you know it's not going to be forever for you know for like all lifetime it's it will be the choice that you're going to so thank you dr sangmita for you know taking out time and uh, guiding us uh, with so many brilliant thoughts and definitely this video is going to be a guiding light for a lot of pgs so thank you so much thank you very much